Oh, he's got me in the timber. G'day everyone, welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures episode. We are on the very high, the very dirty Murray River. It's running at 34,000, which is a lot. It's flood status, but I've had lots of people ask about how to fish it or how I fish it when it's like this. So I would usually be leaving the river alone when it's like this, but I thought it would be a good opportunity it's a nice afternoon just to come down and see if we can't catch a yellow or two. Um, for me, when it's like this, it's all about jigs. It's all about bait. Um, so I've actually gone to the local servo and got myself a pot of worms. Um, so I'm gonna fish both those two options. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go with this. Could be good, could be very tough. We'll just see what happens. So, I might as well just drop a jig down to start with, see if we can't get an easy one. So this is just a, it's one of the Bagley jigs, nice and loud. I don't think the colour matters at all. Um, it's just got to have a good vibration um, and put out a lot of noise with minimal lifts because the fish won't I, they won't be able to see it they've got to they've got to be able to hear it and move over to it so the more noise you can make without the lure moving too far is a good thing as you can see there is current just ripping across the front of the snag um, but here we sort of have this sort of back eddy calm pocket um, with the current being slowed by the the snag and I've always found in the past that the yellows will sit on this particular sort of spot when the river's high simply because it's an easier spot for them to be. Alright, we've had a bit of a jig around the place for nothing, but that's okay. So, I haven't done this for a while. Get rid of that top stuff. But yeah, we... Oh, you are kidding. It's got... Didn't lose me lid. So what we are going to do is just thread a heap of worms just lightly through the hook so we're not gonna we're not gonna thread like one uh, worm on a lot we're gonna th thread a lot of worms on a little so we just I just like to go through the middle of each worm and you know I will absolutely load that hook up so then you've got all those dangly bits that are moving around the place because the fish really pick up on that and what I've sort of found too is with worms that you'll get little fish that'll come and pick at all the little bits of worm and then that noise will attract the bigger fish which is what you need when the water's dirty because um, you know there's just so much water around so you're just gonna load until the hook is completely chockers and that's what I like to use so that's just on a, I think the hook to 1.0 and there's just a little pea sized sinker and I don't really want to have to use any bigger sinker than that because if I do the flow is too much for the fish anyway so and I want to fish this vertically I don't want to fish I don't want to cast it out because then I'll just get snagged so you, do, you just get it down to the bottom and once you're at the bottom, you can actually just give it a twitch and bounce it up and down off the bottom. And that creates a little bit of extra noise too. So 
just working my way through trying to find any calm pockets on the snag sort of done the bit out there where the current's hammering a bit and then I've done the top side of it and now I'm just moving down to this side it's actually nicer here because the current isn't raging well no joy on this one time to go do another one Had my first nibs. It's a nice little bit here, just got this seam of slack water. You can see the current, you might be able to see the bubbles moving. It's this seam of slack water here and did not take long. Then I had a couple of whacks. See if it'll come back. Got him. We got him. He's a little yellow. <laughs> well, spiky around the board. Hey, 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 hey. Settle, 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 settle. Yep, you've already spiked me good and proper. Check him out though. Beautiful yellow. I don't know, he's only small, but I absolutely love seeing yellows of this size because you know the future is bright he is really well hooked hey so let me get a lip on you yes yes hooks out of him beautiful little yellow that's cool really particular about how I like to get my baits down just because I don't I don't want to get snagged and having a light touch is just so much better you can just feel your way down to the bottom and this bit's really good because I'm getting down to the bottom where I was before there was just too much current pushing through and I think that's just typical of the way the river is at the moment that you know all the usual spots may not be so good but you'll get these odd spots like this one here where you know the current and everything's just right and the fish will move to those spots when the water's high like this too wow that was a good bite man did that duck that unreal the, it's funny bait fishing in the river they hit it just like they hit lures it is actually quite enjoyable I think too because you are actively fishing you know you yeah it's not like you're ripping the bait up and down but I'm like twitching it off the bottom keeping into contact and when they hit it they hit it Oh, he's got me in the timber. Here you come, here you come. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's what I wanted. That is what I wanted to catch. Oh, nice. Look at that. <laughs> well, the old theory, well, the old method still work. Stoked. That is awesome. It's good. Oh, the hook's actually fallen out of him. Ah, beautiful fish. Like, check that out. Cracking yellow in the snag. It's been ages since I've bait fished, but uh, you just have to do what's right at the time. And when the water's really high and it's really dirty like this, the lure fishing is super tough, but you can still come down and catch your natives on something simple as a ball of worms. That is awesome. Super staked.
Just had another rattle just then. Very distinctive, like the difference between a carp bite and a yellow bite is very obvious. Like a yellow bite is so sharp. And I knew just before I got that fish that there was a good yellow down there because I'd had a couple of really good grabs. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. What is it? It's big, whatever it is. It's got to be a big carp, doesn't it? Oh, another keeper. Yes! <laughs> oh, that is mean. Yeah, two from two. How good is that? What a cracking fish. That is beautiful. Oof. Stoked, very stoked. Oh, how cool. Two from two. Beautiful. Golden. Absolutely so stoked with that. It's really cool when a plan comes together, you know. Forked out me 10 bucks at the shop to get a pot of worms. Came down in the hope that I might get, you know, a, a yellow in this dirty water, but to catch two cracking fish, that is just so awesome. So awesome. Can go back. Go back and prosper while the water is high. I mean, how could you resist the big curly ball of worms? Yes, that's a good one. Might be another, yeah. I was gonna say, it might be another carp. Felt like a carp. Damn. Might be moving in. You quite right there? Got him. Oh. It's a stinker. Try chucking the vibe back down there. You think if there was yellows down there, they'd eat it, but who knows? I haven't had any action for a few minutes, so I'm just going to move. I think I might just move to the one that's just over there, I reckon. I don't have much, I don't have many worms left, so pick my spot. I think, I think I'm gonna go to the one to the other side, actually. really cool took ages to hook that fish oh, and it's a carp <laughs> took my last bait well it's any consolation carp you're going to become are you right there you're going to become some tasty yabbies it's actually got quite a pretty yellow yellow face and blue eye on that one but did steal my last bait but anyway well that is it we are all out of worms but a 10 bucks well spent i reckon two keeper yellows bit of other bycatch got another little yellow which is really cool to see and all with the water like hammering it is a big big dirty river at the moment so 
just goes to show you just change up those techniques a little bit and you can still enjoy some native fishing if you enjoyed the video make sure you give us a like i know it is something completely random going and bait fishing like this but this is the foundation of fishing. This is the sort of stuff you do when I did like just every weekend when I was a kid, just came up the river and went fishing with bait, just like that. So most enjoyable, leave us a comment if that's what you did too. And if you subscribe to the channel, you won't miss any of the episodes. Thank you very much for watching. I will catch you all next time.